Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, and for today's video, we have an unboxing. My order from Dick Blake came. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. If you've seen my wish video, which I will also have a link to in the description below, I had ordered brush markers and instead got bullet tip markers. I had ordered brush markers. Let's see if they're actually brush markers. I so hope they are. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So nervous. I got my chef up to tear. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Alright. Lots of Let's see this. I have to. <laughs> oh, that one didn't do as much. That one wasn't as much fun. There we go. <laughs> uh, save these for later. Eh, just <sighs> Come on. All right. We have the order sheet. All right, here I'm gonna set that down just so that it's easier. Uh, maybe I don't really need to stand up. All right, so the first thing, these should be my color erase white color pencils. I looked all over and could not find white color erase pencils. None of the art stores that are local in my area have the Prismacolor color erase in bulk. So I decided to search them up there and they had them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. it's white. And there's an eraser. Okay. This should keep me for a few days. Okay, no, I'm not going to go through them that fast. More like it should hold me for a while. I, 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 I can be prolific. I'm not quite that prolific. But yeah, that, that should... That should that should do it for a while. Okay, super excited. By the way, when I bought those pencils, I found out that Dick Flix actually has a, um, oh geez, if you order in bulk, if you or order certain items in bulk, there's a discount, which is really, really cool. So if you need a lot of one specific item, might be a good place to go. And now, the moment of truth. Oh. These are the brush markers. <laughs> At least I hope they are. I've been... I've been bamboozled not once, but twice on Wish. The second video is actually on my other channel, Silver Hyena Plays, where I did a big Wish unboxing and some of my first supplies were in that too. So much fun. Get rid of that tape. Save that for later. Save all of this for later. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm having too much fun. Ah. Wow, well, I'm going to have a lot of cleanup. Blick Illustrator Markers. Alcohol based ink. Brush and chisel nib. 24 colors. A look at that. All right. Oh, wow. Ah, ah come on. 
One moment, please. Okay, here we are. Finally got the darn thing open. I have to get the scissors out of the way. And, oh, wow, these, these all have really, really fun names. Like, can you, can you see them? Is that too small? I don't know. It might be a little bit too small for you guys to see it, even if you pause it. I will be doing a swatch sheet, but they've got fun names like Sage, Mint, Ice Blue, Gulf Blue, Oxford Blue, Coffee, Pumpkin, I, Plum. I mean, like, they're just so fun. I shall pick one. I think that this one looks really pretty. This Gulf Blue. All right. They've got the nice little nubbies here so that they're not going to go rolling all over the place. I will demonstrate that in a bit, I promise. Now, okay, it says brush. It says brush. that we have brush tips <laughs> yes 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 oh I can't do that I'm too squished I was gonna just spin my chair around in victory but I smack it to my bed <laughs> any of you who have seen my studio tour know that my room, it's a nice spacious bedroom, but it manages to be a tiny studio. <laughs> okay, well, you know what I wanted to do. Okay, so, I am going to swatch these babies out, and then we are gonna create something with these. I have been waiting for far too long. Oh, and my render just finished, how about that? I'm so happy. Okay, just a minute. Alrighty then. Let's get to swatching. I decided to use my B marker paper for this. I figure that these are brush markers. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. They deserve nothing but the best. Here, I just wanted to show you guys. Each cap has a cute name. This one is Gulf Blue. And you've also got a letter followed by a number. So that's pretty cool. And there we go. A demonstration. An anti-roll demonstration. Okay, no, I, I put a little bit too much force behind that. Um, take two. That's better. Alrighty. So we've done the roll test. Now we need to see how well these things work. easier to do it this way. I am so, so excited. feels really nice. The tips are a little bit stiff, but it's definitely got more give than, say, your average bullet nib. And the chisel nib, smooth as ever. 
the color pigment. It's really nice, very smooth, and let's see here. I didn't put the protective sheet down, but okay, that is a single sheet. Moment of truth. Okay, a little bit of bleed through, but nothing disastrous. I mean, like the other page is clean, so we're good. One down, 23 more to go. I'm going to speed things up a bit for this, and we're also going to do a little bit of a blending test, so stick around. Oh, something else I forgot to mention. If you didn't notice the brush tip symbol and the chisel nib symbol, the chisel nib also has this gray band here. So if for whatever reason you're looking at the marker like this, you can still tell at a glance which side is which. Very helpful. All right, so these are just some basic swatches. They swatch down very nicely. And a little bit of bleed through, but nothing to the other page, which is good. Oh, you should probably label what these are. Ah, I know, let's go all stylized. There we go. All right. Now for another test. One I've, okay, yeah. I cannot draw a straight line and I was too lazy to get up and get a ruler. I know, I know, I know, sad and pathetic, but it's the truth. Right now it's about 10 p.m., so I'm kind of tired, but I really, really wanted to film this just because I'm so excited about these markers. So, let us do a blender test. Alright, I'm thinking that this ice blue mint and pastel blue. I'm gonna try. I think that these ones might go together well. Oh, well, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out which one is lighter. I think that the pastel blue is lighter. Comment below, which one do you think is lighter? Pastel blue or the ice blue, is that? Yeah, ice blue. Because they both look pretty light. All right, moment of truth. Color goes down really smoothly. I love that squeaky sound. Maybe just a tad bit of streaky, but that could just be me. Okay. So I think we're gonna go dark to light. So we're gonna leave that alone. And 
now. Let's try layering on. with a mid-tone. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, I'm liking this. Ooh. This is just making me all around happy. And now, let's go over with the pastel blue once more. Just to kind of bring everything together. Now then the pastel and the ice blue may have been a little bit too similar, but overall I am happy with this blend test. I'm going to get some other colors. I'm thinking maybe let's do the yellow, orange, and the rose red. So just uh, give me a minute. Alright, and we are back. It's amazing what you can do with editing. So we have Canary, Pumpkin, and Rose Red. Gosh, I love these names. They're so fun. I'm going to do this one a little bit differently, but we'll see how it turns out. This time I'm going to do the lightest color on top. Oh boy, I might have gone a little bit crazy there, but now let's bring in the pumpkin. And rose red. Not quite sure that worked as well as I was hoping for. Okay, I think I'm starting to get a little bit better. Maybe I just need a bit more layers. Okay, so I think that the red definitely blended into the orange better better than the orange blended into the bright yellow, but looking at it, maybe I should have used this yellow. Here, let's let's cheat. I just want to satisfy my curiosity. Go back to the orange. 
Okay, maybe this orange is just a little bit too harsh and used in conjunction with that yellow, but that's why we're practicing. But, I mean, I, the blues blended together pretty well. But luckily, this is just a test page. We still got to see how they perform in the field. Put these ones back. And let's see here. I kept on going to this one because I just loved that color so much. Okay, and let's do something quick with the chisel side. I mean, like, I mostly just wanted the brush, but, you know, gotta be fair to everyone. I do love the boldness of these colors and I can appreciate that there are some neutrals as well as bright vibrance the only thing is I don't see a gray luckily I do have my set of Faber-Castell pit artist pens in shades of gray as kind of a supplement so all is not lost okay, and Okay, so overall for the testing phase, I am very happy. Overall, I'm, I cannot wait to use these in an illustration, but that will be in the next video because quite frankly, I just want to go to bed right now at this point, <laughs> at the point of recording this. Post a comment if you can relate. Seriously, I, I want to know, like, do you guys just stay up until your eyes are burning and your body just refuses to let you do anything else? Or as soon as you just get the slightest bit of droopy eye, do you call it a night and go on to bed? I'd really like to know what you guys have to say. Anyways, please leave a like if you enjoyed that video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, be sure to hit the bell notification so that you will know exactly when I post a new video. This is Silver Hyena, signing off. I wish you all a good night, a good morning, a good afternoon, whatever time of day it happens to be when you watch this video. Stay creative, everybody. Keep an eye out for part two when we actually draw something with these. Bye!